So today's video is going to be all about baby's first travel. I am going to be sharing with you what to pack. The first thing I want to start off with is the stroller. This is extremely important when it comes to traveling with your baby. The type of stroller that you have can make or break your traveling experience. I recommend the Summer Light 3D. I absolutely love, love, love this stroller. It's extremely lightweight. It folds easily. I love that the umbrella part is very, very adjustable. You can adjust it to however you want it. And I love the fact that it reclines all the way back so your baby can take a nice nap in it. It has a under compartment to hold all of your items, whatever you want to throw in the under the compartment. It also comes with a cup holder. I've got it from from Amazon it retails for about 80 bucks which is a little steep when you're comparing to a $20 umbrella stroller but it is so worth it the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is this travel duffel bag this is my second time traveling with this bag and I absolutely love 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 this bag it's super cute it's by a brand called Rockland. It's not the typical pink because everything I get is pink for her, but I love the pattern. I love the quality of this bag. It has so many pockets. Like it has pockets here, here. It has pockets on the sides that fits her bottle perfect her bottles perfectly. You have a pocket on each side of the bag. And then you have the inside, which is fairly big. And I love the fact that it's lined on the inside, just in case if anything spills, you can easily wipe it clean. I love this color because it won't get dirty as fast. But yeah, overall this bag is pretty cute. Let me get her bag packed and let me show you what I'm going to put inside. So the first thing is bottles. Now, when traveling with the baby, I have these just filled with water so that you know it's just ready to go. You can travel with any number of water when you're traveling with TSA. They don't really um, trip on that. The next thing I'm gonna toss in her bag is this formula dispenser. Her formula is already pre-measured. I find it very easy to have the formula pre-measured whenever you're on a plane. It also has pre-measured cereal and some pre-measured snacks at the bottom. The next thing I'm gonna toss in her bag is this pre-made formula. It is so easy when you're traveling with pre-made formula because you don't have to worry about warming it up. So in the event that I don't have time to make a bottle or we're changing planes and she's hungry, I can just toss that milk in a bottle and feed her. The next thing are, is this sassy disposable diaper bags. In the event that your baby has a poopy diaper on the plane and you're not near a trash, you can just toss those, the poopy diaper inside that bag and don't have to worry about any odors because those bags are scented. I go everywhere with those bags. Next is a few tubs of baby food. My baby is on solid, so I definitely recommend that. You just carry a few tubs with you. We do have a long flight, so we have a lot of food with us. You can never be too prepared. I always make sure I have changing clothes for my baby. I'm just packing two onesies and one pair of pants just in case she gets cold. Now I'm going to toss in just a few diapers. Well, that's more than a few, but just a couple of diapers in her bag. I'm packing this changing pad that I got from Amazon. I actually love this changing pad because it is pretty big, so it in it fits her entire body so if i need to change her in a public restroom no parts of her body is touching their uh surface or their counters i'm gonna throw in some baby wipes i have this little cooler bag it's a little dusty but this bag is actually her medicine bag i keep all of her medicines in this bag such as or gel if your baby baby is teething i recommend you bring or gel on the plane to, to keep them calm i also pack some tylenol as well as mylocon gas drops in the event they get cranky out of nowhere i also have some gripe water so this bag i usually don't really use when i'm traveling with her but you can never be too safe. I also packed her syringes as well. 
this bottle is just a small water bottle for her to drink water out of. I also have some extra nipples and I'm gonna toss that on the side. I'm also bringing some diaper rash cream. Y'all, I'm telling you, you can never be too safe. Whenever you're traveling, that's when things just wanna pop up. So I'm bringing diaper rash cream as well. In my hands, I actually had a Ziploc bag with snacks that I forgot to show y'all. As you can see, I'm clearly distracted by my bonus daughter just talking me to death. That is a disposable bib. I also have some hand sanitizer. I'm gonna toss that right in the small pockets. And I also have her shot records. Y'all, if y'all traveling, don't forget your baby's shot record or birth certificate. I prefer the shot record because, you know, birth certificate, that is a very important document. You don't wanna lose it. Um, I also have this mini container and that is just if she doesn't finish any of her baby food, I can just toss it inside of that container. I'm packing her a blanket always bring your baby blanket girl look at how he just walked in the frame with the baby that was a burp cloth and then i'm packing some extra bibs i'm packing her a jacket because where we're going it's cold so when we get off the plane and go get our rental car i can just put her jacket on her instead of fumbling through the suitcases i have it right there in her carry-on bag be sure to get a gate check travel bag. I got this one from Amazon. This is so important when you're traveling with a car seat. You can just toss the car seat inside of that bag and give it to the airlines. I also have this mini insulated pouch for her bottles. What I do is I have those ice packs and I toss it inside of the pouch. In the event that she doesn't finish a bottle instead of the bottle going to waste, I just toss it inside of that insulated bag and it keeps her bottles nice and cool well guys that does it for this part of the video be sure to stay tuned for part two where i show you guys and talk to you guys about the actual experience in the airport with an infant baby until next time i'll see you guys later ciao